The European Union Election Observation Mission in Nigeria, at the invitation of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INET, carried out its work prior to the conduct of the 2023 elections during and after the entire process. This provide the international body with first-hand assessment of the process that brought into power President Bola Ahmed Tunugu. As suspected, the outcome of the election was not without some glitches. This necessitated a report by the EU Observer Mission which highlighted six priority recommendation points. One of the six priority areas that the EU observers want INEC to improve on according to the report, is the electoral body's inability to upload results, which many say has affected the credibility of the country's elections. Positively, Nigeria has signed up to key regional and international commitments for democratic elections. While we consider the electoral legal framework provides an adequate foundation for the conduct of democratic elections, there are ambiguities in the law. Although the country's electoral empire has since countered the claims by the EU Observer Mission, analysts say the report did not totally discredit the entire process but wants improvement for future elections. We know what to do. We know that this is this is the right way to go. Those 25 recommendations by the European Union and Electoral Offenses and um, Electoral Observation Mission uh, were quite on point. And if we will be dispassionate about it, it's meant to help us strengthen and deepen democracy in Nigeria. So there, there's no need to start being on the defensive. For Maxwell Okwara, a legal practitioner, the process that leads to the appointment of INEC commissioners must be reviewed and devoid of political parties' interference. This issue of we just wake up, you, walk, you appoint somebody, we don't know his background, we don't know his antecedent, and I'm saying that is where issue will come. We we'll continue. The selection process must be thoroughly done. The outcome of the result of the 2023 presidential election is currently being challenged by aggrieved parties at the presidential election tribunal. Dominic A. Yemese, ITV News.